And now it's time for the nationally known Dan and Dave Show. Take it away, Dan. A fine program may contain language which may be offensive to some listeners. Therefore, it may be in the best interest of some listeners to tune in to WGHR at a later time for more alternative programming. That was uh, Cringer with Stump off their Time for a Little Something EP put out by Vinyl Communications. And if you're wondering who I am, I am Dan Punk, and sitting across from me is... Uh, Dave Punk. And we are part of what? We Well, we are... <laughs> the human race. That's true. Um, and we're Dan and Dave Punk, if you don't remember us, or more likely don't know who the hell we are from anything. We did a punk rock radio show on a small college radio station in suburban Atlanta, Georgia, back in the early 90s. Well, we started it uh, in nine, 1990. 1990. Uh, October and of 1990. Went on through 93 or 4. Four or 94, 94. Sometime in 94. May, some, the summer of 94. Right. And we're back in uh uh, uh, more than 20 years later in 2013, and we are putting together a little podcast of the music that we uh, played on our punk rock radio show. We're thinking of a way, there's so much great music that we just, it's kind of like, these are kind of like compilation tapes of our great, the, the, some of our favorite bands. And if you want to know more about it, 
uh, and the music that we play on the Dan and Dave show and now the Dan and Dave podcast, please go to our uh, website. We have a website, which is D and D punk dot wordpress dot com. And on that website, you will find uh, a little um, audio podcast, like mini podcast introduction. Right. Uh, to us and and what we're doing, and there's uh, also a plethora of other information tons, there, tons uh, of other information. playlists for this episode and forthcoming episodes, and all of our previous ep- yeah. our uh, original episodes. Um, and now there was a reason actually we started with uh, Cringer and uh, the song Stump in particular. If you don't know, it, 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 you probably don't know us at all, but. Uh, but I mean, you know, if you do, you know that Dan is the statistician of the two of us. He he keeps all sorts of information on the Dan and Dave show. The the reason he says there's a reason for that uh, song <laughs> was that Cringer uh, was the very first band that we played on our very first recorded episode of the Dan and Dave show, which was on July uh, 27th, 1991, I believe is the date. Of and that, uh, and we started that show, our first recorded episode with cringer and stuff. Uh, uh, excuse me july 23rd oh uh, but that's it doesn't no, that's important four days can make a difference well yeah they'll be going back in time and they'll be shit i just missed the uh first uh recorded episode of the day in the day show of course i don't know why they'd pick that time to go back to but you know, know people may they might <laughs> anyway um yeah, so that was uh, so Cringer, Cringer, awesome band, uh, particularly awesome song, uh, awesome EP. The whole EP yeah. is is great. Well, not only that EP, like their well, entire the whole collection band. is yes. good. I mean, we could expand. True, true. But in particular, um, did we talk about that EP? Uh, or not, that not song? really. We announced it. Oh, okay. So anyway, that uh, that's that one was called "Time for a Little Something." It came out in 1991. Four great tracks on it. But like I said, their entire uh, Cringer collection was awesome. And they had a Greatest Hits CD out that included the songs from this EP as well as several other great songs. But unfortunately, it's no longer available. Definitely recommend going and listen to all the Cringer stuff you can. Oh, yeah. Cringer. Uh, you can probably find them all over YouTube. If that's a good starting place. Anyway. The, you can go to the Dan and Dave website. We got some posted yes. up there. We got stuff posted uh, links up there. To right. Links to. Links to. But go ahead. Let's see. Uh, should we go ahead and get the uh, next set the, rolling? The, yeah, the first set actually. No, oh, that's a good day podcast. That's a good point. One song hardly comprises a set. That, exactly. That was the intro or bookend um, song. We'll get to that later. Okay. To start off the next set, I have uh, a band out of Virginia. Uh, this is a seven inch, which is called "Who's to Say What Stays the Same." And it's uh, put out by Sunspot Records back in 1991, originally recorded in 1989, actually. Uh, this band is called Avail, and the song is called Shine on the Dan and Dave podcast. <laughs>
Cecilia. We love you all, and we're listening to Dan and Dave Punk. They're going to kill us. Oh, man. <laughs> Submachine and filth. Um. Hey, was that? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. What did we just play? Wretched we, Ones. Wretched Ones. Mm-hmm. A little band, a Wretched Ones. Out of, not little. They were New Jersey. New Jersey. Yes. New Jersey, oi. Uh, the song you heard was called Life for a Life. Uh, that was off of their America's Most Wanted EP. Four Different Views of Crime. Right, right. Put um, out by what? Headache. Headache Records back in 1991. And I think actually the guys from the Wretched Ones run Headache Records. Or at Armin? Least one, is, Armin, BT. Right. Uh... Anyway, yeah. I think they're still around. Right still, on. Still rocking it. I like that. Uh, before that, you heard a band called The Gutter Snipes off their split EP with Dysrhythmia. Uh, the song you heard was called To Russia With Love. It was uh, put out in 1991 by Elbowhead Records. And it's a little split EP. For the with studio. Dysrhythmia. With Dysrhythmia. Right. Right on, man. Uh, <clears throat> right on. Okay, before uh before Gutter Snipes, you heard a band called Flash Bastard with the song "Not Dead Yet." That's off of their "This Means War" seven inch, put out in nineteen ninety one by Stiff Pole Records. And before that, you heard a Canadian band called the Glory Stompers off their nineteen ninety three release, which was just a self titled EP, but it was a two two seven inch eps oh, that's and right one nifty little pack four sides if you will for a four-sided uh ep ep if you ever yeah, yeah, yeah. which just means it's two two two-dimensional records <laughs> anyway with the song you heard was called uh um go away. away go away right on and we started off that set going way way back to the beginning of that set you heard a band called avail which uh, uh, became one of my favorite bands after the Dan and Dave show in the years following our little foray into public radio broadcasting. Not really public radio, but college radio, I guess. Anyway, the song you heard was called Shine. It was recorded all the way back in 1989 and remixed and re-released in 1991 on their Who's to Say What Stays the Same Seven Inch EP. Yeah. And uh, that I'm sorry, that was put out by Sunspot uh, Records. Yes. And so, you, so you, uh, we uh, at the beginning before we announced all the songs that right after, we heard a little, uh, little ID that uh, Doug from Submachine made for us, right? And along with, uh, I don't know why he said, oh, he's, well, because they were touring with Phil right. at the time, right? But I, so, at the time, I have a bone to pick with Doug. In an interview with Flipside in Flipside magazine, he was once asked if he knew Dan and Day Punk, or it was actually how does he know Dan and Day Punk? But basically, what he ended up saying was, Dan and Day Punk need a girlfriend or girlfriends. <laughs> Thank you. Which was probably true and really is yeah, true. Kind of true. <clears throat> and uh, you know, but since then, again, he, we've, did, we've, he, did, he did call us out in front of the country. Yes, by doing that well, I was. I, I think it was kind of to kind of send some pussy our way it didn't work by the way <laughs> but in the years after the dan and dave show we got you know a little more successful with the ladies but anyway the reason i bring this up is because we want to talk about we want to play a set of songs that are kind of dedicated to uh our views of love yeah well in not, a way and yeah, well, you know. kind of taking love as a, a funny uh, let's, approach, let's, can, can we just say it's it, we're we're going to play a set of music that takes a certain perspective on love, whether it represents you know what Dave Punk actually right thinks yeah, is yeah. not. We're just it's a theme. It's kind of a funny theme, really. It is, yeah, kind of tongue in cheek, right? Yeah. And so, uh, what, are you going to start this one off? Uh, Am I? It's one of the, or you want me to talk about? I mean, it's is Screeching Weasel one of the Screeching Weasel one was of, the most played band on our show, by the, the way. The most played band, uh, one of uh, Dan Punk's absolute personal favorites. Favorite I know. band, uh, not yeah, yeah. One Definitely of your one favorites, of your favorite punk bands. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, Screeching Weasel, uh, out of Chicago. This is off of their second LP by the name of Boogada Boogada Boogada. That was, uh, well, the copy we had 
is on Roadkill Records. I think it was subsequently re-released. A couple Lookout had it yeah, at one out, point. Lookout and, re-released it. They took out some of the stuff and they changed the color of the cover. Right, not that hot pink cover. And they that took out um, Archie Bunker yeah, yeah. berating hey, Edith? berating Edith yeah, at yeah. the beginning of. Um, yeah, they did. Dingbat. Dingbat yeah, was Dingbat, the song. But that's not yeah. the song we're going to play. It is not. What we're going to play is a song called Love. And uh, yeah. So I guess that's it.
Ladies, I think every man should own some. <laughs>
The frequency of our broadcast was, is not currently. Well, we didn't have a podcast back then. Oh, so I see that you made a little witty. Little witty that's I'm sorry, I completely that missed that. Uh, anyway, uh, so you just heard a set of music there on five different views of love to kind of contrast with right. the four different views of uh, killing. May I just throw out there that that uh, wonderful ID you heard was done uh, for us, uh, unbeknownst to us. They just sent it to us out of the blue by a uh, wonderful little band up in New York called and Youth Gone Mad. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, and we're going to do a special yeah. show. Well, we you'll do, hear more you'll from hear Youth from there. Gone Mad. But that was a nice, I, I, that was fun to exactly. get that. Uh, to start from the beginning of that set, you heard the mighty Screeching Weasel out there, LP, boogada, boogada, boogada. Um, you heard the track called Love, and that was put out by Roadkill Records. The Disturbed after that with You're So Beautiful, But You're a Slut, and that was off of their totaled Volvo EP, LP. It wasn't oh. really an LP. It was, oh. for, interestingly A enough, 12 it, it, was, it was 12 inches, but it was 45 so it's a 12-inch EP, perhaps. That's what I'm thinking, EP. Uh, called Totaled Volvo. Did I already say that? I think I did. Sleaze Tone Records uh, put that out, which I think was was just the members of The Disturbed, and they just came up with Sleaze Tone as their record label. And I believe they're somewhere in uh, New England. I want to say Rhode Island was where they originated from, but I'm not 100%. And that, yeah, that w- sure. that one was a little... Did you say what year that one came out? 87. Of? Yes, I think I did. Seven. So, yeah, so we're going back a little bit. Tom, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. yeah. We Screech picked Weasel up the, was 88. This is 87. Right. And then, uh, bef- after that, you heard a band called The Falling Idols, who actually, they, they released this uh, LP, or it's actually an EP. It's a one-sided disc. Uh, back in 1984. Anyway, you heard a song from them called HWH, uh, the He Woman Haters Club from, from Little, Little, Little Rascals. Little Rascals. Uh, and it's a joke, so I hope the ladies don't get offended out there. It's, you know, it's maybe, maybe be it's considered cruel. a little misogynist. Is that misogynist? Yes. Yes. Is, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just didn't sound right coming that's out some of my good, mouth. Uh, good vocabulary. Maybe, but it's a joke, I would think. But anyway, and, uh, 
Anyway, some reason we just got sent this uh, record back during the Dana Dave shows, and I'm glad we did. Uh, this did feature uh, 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 the voc- on vocals was Dave Quackenbush, who was also a member of the Vandals. The Vandals, yes, that was uh, for those of you. Hopefully, you know who the Vandals are. Well, I think they, I they think were, they do. Yeah, they're they were r- not quite r- the punk lyrics. band. Yes. Um, following the falling idols, you heard Guttermouth with "Under My Skin," that is off of their Balls Seven Inch EP, uh, released way back in 1991 by the Doc Doctor Strange Records. You remember when we called him the Doc Doctor Doc, Strange? Strange? Yes. The Doc they had a great, I mean, label. great label. They are. I mean, they were definitely one of the the best best labels out there that we had. Uh, so much great music came from them. Anyways, uh, ending that set, you heard from a band called Stalin's Daughter, Daughter off their Oktoberfest EP, which was that which came out back in 1988. And uh, the song you heard was called "I Just Want to Be Friends." But uh, <laughs> members of nice. October, or uh, I'm sorry, members of Stalin's Daughter went on to be in uh, the Love Gutter who you will definitely hear from at one point. And unfortunately, sadly, the lead singer of um, Stalin's Daughter passed away uh, back in, I want to say, 2006 or seven. Uh, uh, yeah, I do not know. The year is, I'm very vague on the year, so my apologies if I got that wrong. But that was that was sad. That was sad to, to hear about that. Um. So yeah, you want to get right into the next yeah, set? Well, let's lead, uh, finish up the next set. You want me Good to deal. announce this song? I love this song. Yeah, awesome go song. shoot, dude. Go uh, right ahead, man. This is another one of the. I mean, a lot of the labels that got sent was from bands that who were, uh, was like smaller labels. But there were a couple like Doctor Strange and Headache, and this one especially uh sent us a, or we didn't. Got a lot of music from them. It's a band, a label called Lookout, who unfortunately is no longer around, but l- released a ton of great records, including the you know they they were the first ones I believe to have Green Day on their label. Oh, I didn't uh, know that. Did, and then did they, not know that. And then sc- they picked up Screech and Weasel. Right. A ton of great right. punk oh, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, this is from a 1992 release uh, from a band called the Winona Riders. Uh, not to be confused with Winona Ryder, who spells her name completely different. Well, well not, not completely <laughs> different. They're actually very similar. Uts, he switches they, the Ys and the Is. Yeah, they, he did that. They're they're witty, witty that way. Uh, but anyway, so you get it because it's kind of the way they wrote it. It's like it you sounds ride like Winona. they ride Winona, and who wouldn't want to ride who Winona Ryder back in her day? Uh, back in the day, she was quite the fine. Okay, I would I'll today. Look, yeah. I have no problem with uh, Miss Ryder. Today, uh, I would, you know, because I'm a happily married man, and you know, I just don't do that kind of stuff because you, you know, don't swing. I, I am not a swinger. Dan's not oh, a swinger. Sorry, ladies. Sorry, I'm not available. But what, anyway, so what are we gonna hear? Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, we're gonna hear from the Winona Riders off their Some Enchanted Evening EP put out by Lookout Records back in 1992. The song that you're gonna hear is Childhood Game. <laughs> Always on the back of my mind 
okay Got mad and he pedaled away If you ask, I probably agree Say Jesus is a little crazy Do not, you 
Bam! And that was a band called Sludgeworth with their song Two Feet Off the Ground, which Wait, was what? Did you just say on or off? Two feet on the ground. Okay, just make it. It sounded like off to me for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, that was off their My ears are their self titled EP up. put out by Roadkill Records back in nineteen hundred and ninety. <laughs> uh, it totally sounded like you were going to put another year there. <laughs> no, it was nineteen ninety. Anyway, the uh, Sludgeworth actually, I believe, started in the transition after uh, Screech and Weasel did "Boogada Boogada Boogada," right? And they had kind of temporarily broken up, which people at the time thought it was a permanent breakup. Okay, but uh, members Screech and Weasel, you're talking Screech about Screech and Weasel, yeah. Right. And so Sludgeworth started with. Former members, I believe it was pretty much everybody except Ben Weasel hmm. in Sludgeworth. That's interesting. And, and a, a little uh, interesting uh, uh, factoid I looked up or found on the interweb wow. uh, regarding that. An excellent source of information. It is. Regarding that particular 7-inch that you played that off of, that uh-huh. the, the cover art was actually drawn by a gentleman by the name of J.O. Barr or James O. Barr, who is the creator of The Crow comic book oh, interesting. series, which was later made into Films. movies. Mm-hmm. Yes, big big blockbuster movies. Right. I just thought that was interesting. And you can see the cover as well as all kinds of other other information on our website, by the way. I don't know if we if oh, yeah, haven't been to yeah, the yeah, website. Yeah. yeah, you can look up uh, that release and see the cover of it and read information and on it. Link to a couple videos. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, that... But, yeah, again, uh, we may have mentioned it earlier, but that is dandpunk.wordpress.com. Check. Okay, and before Sludgeworth, you heard a band called Six with All In My Mind. That's off of the Loud Ugly Pop compilation CD. Who put that out? Fat Beat Records. Oh, that's right. Fat Beat. Fat Beat Records. I think that's, uh, that's the only thing I'm aware of that they did put out. Oh, yeah, but it's it was really great. Uh, before that, you heard a band from Ohio, uh, Dayton, Ohio, I believe, uh, the Oxymorons off their St. Jude EP. Uh, it was put out by Cheap Beer Limited Records in 1992, but I think Cheap Beer Limited is just their own label. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, the song you heard was called <laughs> Nothing to Feel Bad About. Uh yeah. Schlepprock with Ten Speed. Man, this was a this was a really good set. Oh, yeah, this was well, a, uh, the whole show was great. Of you course. Know I mean? Come on. The whole Dan Dan and Dave Enterprise. Enterprise. Oh. Uh Schlepprock with a song called Ten Speed. That was off of their Spring and Ten Speed Seven Inch, put out by Last Resort Records way back in nineteen ninety three. Uh anyway, we started off as I told you at the when we started the set with a band called Winona Riders off their Some Enchanted Evening E P put out in nineteen ninety two by Look Out Records. Right on David. Yes, sir. That was a well, that wow. Was, that was quick. Yeah, it went by, went, flew by. When you're playing good music like that, it just time just flies by at a lightning pace. Um, well, that's about it for the first uh, Dan and Day podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Join join us next week for Please another do. exciting episode. Uh, we'll have some bands that we'll right. play for you, different ones from today. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, lots of good music. We got a ton of it, uh, so we got four more podcasts to go in this series, I guess. We'll see what happens after that, but um, be sure to visit us at uh, dndpunk.wordpress.com, and we're going to leave you with a, uh, an, a band that we started the show with, actually. We do this um, every show. We start the show with a band and we end the show with the same band it's a bookend if it you is. will bookends bookends if you will i like that um and i'm going to play this song for you now this is actually off of the uh same seven inch uh ep that we started the show with this is cringer off of time for a little something with petrograd see you next week bye <laughs>
<laughs> oh, Whoa. for those of you listening on tape, this is our. Sh- we do this every show. Every time we record a tape, we have to do a rap. Okay. Yo, homeboys, let me tell you what. I got something queued up. It's a wacky little band from California. Their name is Cringer, and they're really adorable. What? Well, anyway, they're off of Vinyl Communications. So let's go. Our communications. Uh, uh. Oh, yo. Yo. <laughs>